Hey everybody, welcome back to another Nature's Always Right episode. Today is an uh, important one for anybody who uses drip tape, um, and maybe you want to move that drip tape to another location. And um, as you guys might know, I'm moving my farm to Tennessee, so I'm going to take a bunch of this drip tape with me and reuse it. And one of the most important things when transporting or storing drip tape is to make sure it doesn't have twists or kinks in it, because over time the plastic will degrade, and then a small perforation is going to develop in there, and now um, you need some uh, black tape to, to uh, keep it from leaking. So that's why we're setting it up like this, keeping it super tight. I do not have a spool. Um, highly recommend keeping the spool that comes with the drip tape. I've already used that thing though. So what I'm going to be using is just some uh, PVC I have left over. This is like two inch PVC. I'm in some one inch over there. And we're just going to be wrapping it onto that like a little sleeping bag. So I think this is going to work out well and it should store well too. So the most important thing when setting these up is trying to get them as straight as possible and then keeping this end here super taut. Um, having both pipes on each side and because all that weight is on that other side once we start wrapping from this we can pull really hard against that to ensure that we're going to get a really tight wrap and my wife came up with this really good idea of adding the tape and the tape is just helping to keep it all straight especially as we're starting to wrap it and uh, i think i might i think we might even put one more piece of tape right here So I'm super happy with this technique. It worked really well. I'm happy with the folding of the drip tape. I am pretty sure that most of this will survive and I'll be able to reuse it. It's not getting pinched, pinched too much and there's no twists. Keeping the twists out is probably the most important thing to do. And then we taped both sides. We threw some of the tape on the inside of the pipe just to make it super strong so it's not gonna blow apart or anything and keep it tight so that it can fit in the moving truck as small as possible. Um, the rest of my drip tape, I still had more I couldn't get rid of. I'm just going to donate. And then the rest of the irrigation that I'm keeping are my header pieces for my bed. So if you haven't seen how to make one of these header pieces and you would like to have an on off for each bed and a way to take off the irrigation lines with one connection, um, it's very easy to do all by yourself, even with a 50 foot bed. Um, so if you're looking for that sort of solution, individual bed control from one valve and one takeoff, uh, check out the link here. So I'm, I'm able to save, you know, quite a bit of my drip irrigation system. The one thing uh, I would change, and I made a video actually all about the different things I would change about my irrigation setup, the timers, the filter, like different things like that. And one more, so I want to just mention that on your T connections especially, Having them be twist off, uh, it's only slightly more expensive and I think I was being a little too cheap because it would have allowed me to take it on and off. Now if I reconnect, I'm gonna have to buy two pieces for the ends to attach more half inch onto. So just something to keep in mind. I am, I have become a fan of all the twist off connection. All right, everybody, hope this helped you. If you're trying to put away drip tape, it's a drip tape is a nightmare. I'm sure you already figured that out, <laughs> but you know, if you get creative, and this, this, I'm very happy with this. I've tried re-spooling it on a spool that also works well. Um, I did make a video about that as well, using kind of a power drill to help spool it up, but that had, it, that had its problems too. So there's no perfect solution. All right, be sure to like this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you wanna find out when all my videos happen. 